Welcome to another edition of Gilbert Fox Plays, and keeping up with, like, trying to keep my sanity here. So, before we uh, started the episode, there was something that uh, Toon Critic had something to say in regards to a particular franchise that he's a fan of. Take it away as I play through the Poison Pond. <clears throat> well, Sharky was about to start, so... Oh, okay, well... The new Megazord looks like fucking trash. That's it yes. looks like the table scraps of the fucking Transformers movies. It, it really does! It's it's like, it's a bunch of gray shit with a little bit of color sprinkled on it, and it doesn't even have a face. It what the hell? It doesn't like, look like it's a combination of anything. It looks like this whole completely different fucking robot. It's like... It, that, that was the charm of the Megazord, is that you see these five different things come what? together, just like the team has come together. And it yeah. forms this great, awesome machine, but instead, here's this thing that looks nothing the fuck like it. You, you could literally just say it's a completely different thing. Like, it's not even related to them at all. Exactly. The Why? Megazord from the first movie, as dated as that CGI looks, looks fucking better than what you we're saw it come here. together. Though it look, you saw it form. I don't yes. know if we're gonna see that in this movie, though. No. Wait, it wait, just, wait, 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 wait! Stop! Not. Stop! Pause. Uh, wait. Let me get this straight. Are you telling me that all those separate dinosaur animal robots are gonna come together and form something that looks nothing like them before? Is that what you're telling me? That's what it looks like. Yes. Oh my god. Even Okay, I'm not even a Power Rangers fan, and I'm calling bullshit on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, and what we saw, I saw they released a new clip from the movie, and it has, like, the Red Ranger and the Pink Ranger flirting with each other, and it looks like they're setting up a romance. That is not Wait. what happened. It was Tommy. Where the fuck is Tommy Kimber. Oliver? Where's my boy Tommy? Where's Zeo Ranger 5, motherfucker? But thinking of like not just not just the Megazord, but just like Transformers and stuff in recent years, my question is, what is Hollywood's problems with right angles? Oh yeah. You don't see anything <laughs> square on any robot. It has to look more organic, you know? This is a new uh -huh. day and age. New or yeah, where fucking you got Alpha, who is not like square at all. You just have Alpha to be like, looks weird. like shit. He looks Alpha like a fucking orangutan. Like Alpha he looks like, like a beer belly. Alpha he looks like, 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 belly. Alpha. Alpha looks like an orangutan that fell to a vat of ooze. That's what I, he I don't know what that like. thing is, but it's not Alpha. <laughs> yeah, it's... they're they're trying to be edgy and organic when they're, exactly they're, and they're teenagers they're, and... with edge, not attitude. And I'm just like in our in our generation, we have teenagers who are edgy and cool and, and rebellious. I'm like, but that's that's not what the original Rangers were, though. The original Rangers weren't edgy. They had attitude, but they weren't these edgy like, ooh, we're gonna like fight for what's right. And since we were all misfits, none of us fit in. That's not well, what I'm it's. It's almost know. like a rainbow bright reboot reverse fuck up. Let me explain. Uh, the okay. in, in the original Rainbow Bright series, it was a little bit more serious and uh, a little bit more dramatic. There was danger involved. People could have gotten hurt. But then here comes the fucking reboot. Oh, I'm Rainbow Bright. Isn't it totally rad? Oh my god, where are my bows? Totally did I introduce myself for food. Uh, just, just you stop. have this corny, over-the-top bullshit acting, it. and, and it's so cheesy, it doesn't represent the original at all. Um, and now you have Power Rangers. The original series was extremely charming. They knew when to be funny, and they knew when to be serious. They didn't take themselves seriously. They had fun with their visuals. It was and bright and colorful. Bright and colorful and in your face, and they knew what they were, and they had fun with it. Uh, here comes the reboot. Uh, we are so not being cheesy. We're going to take ourselves seriously. If this were to really happen, this is what it would look like. Oh, but... Hey. Like, God, let's take all the colors and just fucking, you know, <sighs> just, just reduce all the fucking colors so they're all pretty much different shades of gray. That's what that's what we get now. Not even Megatron would accrue this thing. Uh, I, I no, really... it's like, as I've said, like, time and time again, what this movie has done is that it has created Power Rangers into the one thing that it was never supposed to be. What it stood for was being everything but this. The 2017 Power, Mo Power Rangers movie has been presented as just another generic superhero movie, and that's never what Power Rangers was supposed to be about. 
So you want to know something? You want to know something really bad? That fucking monster trucks movie looks like it has more oh, heart than this fucking movie. Ouch. Monster, shitty little. Oh, we got these aliens and monster trucks thing. Let's have some fun with that. That movie looks like it's having more fucking fun than the fucking Power Rangers movie. Well, uh, at least that guy can do MacGyver, but. <laughs> So something I'm waiting for after this Power Rangers movie comes out, though, I want to... I have a friend of mine, she usually she usually always gets into, like, the the fan dubs, like, when Japan starts airing, like, the current Super Sentai series, which was, thanks to her streams, that was how I got to watch all of the uh, uh, Go Kaiger, which turned out being one of my favorite Sentais. Anyway. And, um... I'm going to wait and see when Japan decides to rip this one a new asshole. Because yeah. Japan's really good at, like, they don't take likely to when Americans cop their shit and then do it wrong. Of Because I remember after Godzilla from 1998, that god-awful Matthew Broderick version. And yeah. then Japan, Japan did a straight-up Godzilla movie where they had... 98 Godzilla, all shitty looking, and then he gets fucking trashed by Toho Godzilla, and then like this alien dude that summoned it, he's like, well, that monster sucked anyway. You know, you, it's funny you actually bring up the, the what was a 1998 Godzilla you said? Yeah. yeah. The, the, the American Samuel, Godzilla. The Roland Emmerich film. That, that yeah. was a terrible basically, terrible, terrible... Basically, the new Power Rangers movie is that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're go that's what we're what we've basically got here. We have an American version of something that okay, we took the the the, the Japanese Super Sentai team before. Now we've Americanized it and made it so generic. Ugh. There was a certain it. charm to it, and now it's gone. There's no fucking charm to this movie. No. It, no. But um I never I never heard like anybody confirm this, but I remember like there was a rumor that one of the reasons that Akira Toriyama made DBZ Battle of the Gods was because he saw Dragon Ball Revolution and said, no dumb fucks, this is how you make a Dragon Ball movie. Oh, you mean the fucking live action movie? Yes. Movie uh, itself. I, yeah, God, no, I remember when I saw movie. that trailer, I immediately knew. This is I'm not even stuff. a Dragon Ball Z fan or a Dragon Ball fan in general. I saw this and I'm like, I don't even have to be a fan to tell you that's not fucking Dragon Ball. It's got wrong <laughs> written all over it. I just I saw, just saw it with like, I just saw it with CGI and, and I watched Dragon Ball growing up. I I looked at those trailers and I'm just like, what the fuck were you smoking? That you actually <laughs> thought this was anything remotely like Son Goku and Friends. Fuck you. <laughs> Hang on a sec, what were you saying, Solar? I was saying, like, as soon as I saw fucking Goku's design in this movie, like, did you even watch the original show? What the fuck is wrong with you people? Yeah. What, what, what are you smoking? Where can I fucking get some? Okay, here it is. That one hard-ass fucking st Oh, wait. It's a Jesus. card stage. I don't know um, oh, yeah, somebody pointed out Ghost in the Shell. I'm looking forward to that movie. Oh, I've, seen the, I I, I've seen the original. I've seen the original. I had never gotten the chance to like fully watch it. I was able to recently, and it blew me away. Like I was very impressed with it. I don't I watch to, many uh, many anime to, movies. I have to give that movie another chance. Um, Ghost in the Shell was one of those movies that I watched, but midway through I fell asleep because like it was at a like an anime convention that I was invited to, and a part of which is just mostly out of physical exhaustion and nothing to do with the movie itself. So um, of course, so good job. I remember looking at that one chase scene where one guy gets his hand twisted and he gets flipped all over a like some kind of lake or some kind of puddle or something like that. It's yeah. such a well done scene that even to this day that uh, it like it still holds up. So um, it looks like that movie um, that it looks very close to what the uh, the original looks like. Even the cars look like the kind of designs you see from like the early '90s or the late '80s of their own perspective of the future and stuff. Um, it's so weird because you see a lot of um, you see a lot of movies attempted where they try to adapt anime and it doesn't always work. But I see that with Ghost in the Shell they seem to be actually putting a lot more effort into it. All I know about Ghost in the Shell is that the artist of the original manga, he did a lot of porn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. Right. That's a fact. 
Oh, you okay. can find it. Oh, it's bad. out there. Well, hey, it just means his anatomy was good. <laughs> yeah, that's Sometimes you gotta know some porn to have some good anatomy, you know? Just wanted to throw that out there. You know, the for reason there's tits on everything and goes in the shell. Yeah. See, it's, for, yeah. it's for research purposes. What I didn't get, though, is that when everyone flipped their shit over Scarlett Johansson being cast, and then there's the whole whitewashing argument again, I'm sitting here like, really? She looks like, close to the character. She does. She I, does. I, she looks I didn't see a problem. Yeah, I didn't see see a problem just either. find. People will find any excuse to bitch nowadays. Yeah. Something that yeah. I actually thought was kind of funny about it was that, one, like, there are people in Japan no. already kind of saying that they kind of liked that. And even yeah. when it comes to, like, what Japanese audiences want, there are even Japanese audiences that like the idea of having Western actors and stuff. Damn it. It's one of the reasons the fucking god-awful Fist of the North Star movie exists, which is a shitty film. Oh boy, you you've you've talked so much about Fist of the North Star though with Sharky, like it's you love that. It's favorite anime. It, it really is. Like, and granted, I'm not gonna act like Fist of the North Star is perfect and on flawless. No, it's really stupid. It's incredibly <laughs> stupid, and I'll gladly point that out. But there's something about but, it that it represented to you that means so much, and yet it's misrepresented when it comes to something else uh, that is related to it. Fuck. Yeah, so so here's a weird scenario. Japan fronts the bill for a live-action Fist of the North Star movie, and they go to Hollywood saying, we want you to film this with American actors and everything, and it's going to get premiered in Japanese theaters. Also, they did the Japanese dub with that live-action movie, with the original voice actors from the anime that were still around. Which is kind of cool in a nerdy way, but the movie's still shit. <laughs> Damn it. Go, 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 go. We were watching a video on YouTube the other day where I saw just little bits and pieces of this movie. Oh my goodness. This it's awful. Is, this looks like some B movie from the 70s bullshit. Roddy McDowell's in it. <laughs> God damn, that one fish is fucking you over, Fox. Yeah, it's because I had to go through all these goddamn speeding spike wheel things. And as soon as I get those, boop, here comes that fish. Oops. How are you able to swim through that? It's Poison Pond. How are you not dying? Are you seriously questioning the logic in this game, dude? In the yes, I am. In the You're previous world, the dude. Logic of donkey dog. In the previous world, I was swimming through a frozen lake. A frozen well, that makes lake. more sense, but... No, and now we go freeze to death. Swimming through a fucking solid frozen lake. Okay, that makes oh, more sense. No, 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 no. I mean, like, really, really cold-ass water that will make you freeze to death under a few seconds. And you ha are under this stage for God knows how long. How does this compute? How does this con- Because Donkey Kong's the badassest of dudes and doesn't afraid of anything. It doesn't afraid of it does, anything. doesn't afraid of anything. <laughs> That's the quote of the century right there from Solar Flare. That was not that me. Was what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so okay, so fine. A charkey. God, can nobody fucking get my name right? Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ! They don't so think hard. I'm you. They think I'm Chris. They don't think I'm Chris. They think I'm Zach. They don't think I'm Zach. They think I'm some other motherfucker that isn't even here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag trigger. Yeah, pretty much. God damn it. So there's a question for both Toon and Golden. Do you have a video oh. game based movie that you personally enjoyed? Okay. Um, now. That's, that's a good question. There's a couple of games that I like that are based off of movies. There was no, one video game -based that. Movie. Oh, so movie -based that. You mean video game, game adaptations? Movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say. Um, Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, because it knows how to follow the games. Unlike yeah, Evil. I kind of like that the Street Fighter, the movie one. I thought it was like really fucking stupid though. The, so I will say that I I do genuinely enjoy the live action Street Fighter film. Not for not for like like it's not a great it's not movie, Street Fighter. but 
It's not. <laughs> Damn, Raul Julia steals the show. <laughs> Raul Julius was pretty funny. Um, I also he like wasn't. that. Awesome person. No, um, I also like that scene where Zanjif is with a group of other characters, and he's like, "Quick, change the channel because yeah, it's looking at uh, looking at a television, and I, it's I, like I, it's a surveillance camera, and showcasing like what's going on in other areas." So, okay, I got, I got a few, but the one, the one video game movie that I genuinely enjoy and actually am a little bit inspired by, the Tomb Raider movie. Okay. <laughs> No, but, um, the, when it came to... Sorry. Huh? No, I was just saying that, like, the Tomb Raider movie... It was pretty cool. The first one is, I think, the best. The second one goes to what-the-fuck-even-anymore territory, but then it's Tomb Raider, so you should expect it. The other one... The other one is Silent Hill. Is it a guilty pleasure when I say that I liked Resident Evil series? The first few of them, I have not seen the new one, but I'm glad it's over. Yeah, I, mean, if you, um, I could go on a I could go on a huge tirade about the Resident. You keep movies. getting hit by that same fucking thing. I know it's because I'm get there's so many different obstacles that I'm being so mindful of that I um overlook that. I will say if you like the Resident Evil movies, that's not I mean, that that's not a bad thing. Like turn your brain off and have fun. That's what yeah. If you realize what those are, because those movies are incredible. Like yeah, the fact oh that was a garbage disposal. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> like, the, fact, the fact that yeah they don't follow the games whatever but that's o that's okay it doesn't matter but man they're like they can be fun to watch even though they're dumb as a box of hammers <laughs> yeah yeah but they are my issue with the movie not following the game is that the reason why the movie was made is because the fans of the resident evil games wanted there to be a movie because they would fit perfectly for a movie because it had a storyline and it had something very cinematic to it and the first movie did none of that. It was completely pointless, and yet it became such. It became its own entity that claims and, that it's Resident Evil when it's not. And that's. And they kept it. making sequels so that the director's wife would have work. Yeah. There's a there's a video game movie I felt should never have been made if they weren't going to follow it, and that was Doom. Yeah. They mm -hmm. they they really really yeah. really, really screwed Doom that had, up. Doom also had a lot of potential, but they fucked it up. The plot was simple. You're the last remaining person on Mars, and you have to go through different kinds of laboratory facilities so that way you can get home. Simple enough story. Oh, but guys, but guys, look at the ending. We made it first person, just like the game. Doesn't that, that doesn't, fix everything? No, it doesn't. There's no, much it, more to its source it, it, material it, 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 than it just works. a first person game. It's not it felt like, like that was. It felt like the movie was giving up, and it's like, oh, well, here's some fan pandering. Yeah, like, and the whole thing that it was like ancient aliens or something stupid, like, because I could sum up the storyline for Doom even simpler for you. We open the gates to hell on Mars. Oops. There you go. That's that's really all you needed. Yeah. In the, Weren't in they the, making was... another movie though? Probably not. I don't know. I heard they were making another movie. I, I don't know. Uh... I'm disappointed. I'm going to get picked on for liking, but I like the Super Mario Bros. movie. No, no I, I like too. Okay, yeah. Um, as far as like, okay, there, there's. I understand completely why Super Mario Brothers was hated so much. Yeah. It's because there is no like when I saw the like when I saw what the movie was like. It was live action. It was in the early '90s. There is no fucking way they're going to replicate very close to the game. Because first of all, the movie is dark. The movie is bright. Uh, the game is bright and colorful. Second, floating platforms and girders, mushrooms that make you large. How are you going to work that into a live action film? Somebody yeah. just pointed out something. They pointed out the Ratchet and Click movie. Let me talk to you for a second about that. I am so pissed because, one, I really liked the movie. I thought they did a great job with it. But sh what killed it was that it did not get properly advertised. Sony didn't give a shit about it. They're just like, oh, well, here it is. Here's a movie. When I went to go see this movie, no one was fucking there for it. And because it bombed at the box office, because it got poor reviews, guess what? We're probably not going to get that Sly Cooper movie now because of it. Uh I don't know. Do you really think they canceled the Sly Cooper movie? No, no. no Sony's like, it. well, no. Here's the thing. Sony legitimately was like, well, since the Ratchet and Clank movie didn't do that good, I don't know why we should invest in the Sly Cooper movie yeah. after that. I mean, it's so probably just going to end up like that. Basically, they didn't so bother. good because your dumbass didn't fucking advertise they didn't, it. They didn't put their heart into the project. 
Exactly. It's a, it's a similar effect, not exact, but a similar effect to The Princess and the Frog. The movie had a lot of effort. I thought the movie was amazing, but it was so under-advertised that it got easily drowned out by the uh, squeakle at the box office. I, my biggest thing with the Ratchet & Clank movie was, so I love Armin Shimmerman, who voices Dr. Nefarious, and considering we get that tease near the end of like, okay, here is the version of Dr. Nefarious you know from the games, because a lot of people looked at Dr. Nefarious initially and they were like, wait a minute, why does he look like an alien? That's not how he is, but it's like, no, no, that's a canon thing. If you played, uh, like Damn there it. were some side... <laughs> <laughs> there, there is some side stuff that uh, that actually mentions what Doctor Nefarious was like before he was a robot, and uh, up your arsenal, which was the third game, and yeah, and so like to get that tease of like, yeah, I'd love a, another movie of Armin Shimmerman as Doctor Nefarious because he's great, but we're not getting that, and it's like, oh well, I, I guess I'll go play up your arsenal again. You know like, what I would love, but they're not gonna do it. Hmm. A spiral movie. That would be great. The closest well, thing that we had to that, they actually were making a spiral movie. They were going to do it after the Legend of Spyro series, but then it just ended up in development hell, and then nobody did anything with it. Well, so there was going to be luck. If you a uh, jellyfish. Well, bless. If you have a Netflix a uh, subscription, you can watch Skylanders Adventures uh, on your Netflix. Uh, <laughs> Hey, 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 I like Skylanders Academy. I, I don't. actually do. I don't, okay, I, I, I was, ha, I, I hated the idea of Skylanders, especially when they, they brought Spyro in and then they just ditched him because I'm like, oh, so it's basically just the, the raving rabbits all over again. But when I watched this Netflix series, I genuinely sat down to watch it and I watched the whole thing through. It actually was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. In fact, it was kind of good. If anything, you have Spyro and Crash teaming up in it. That doesn't sell anybody? Oh, okay. I mean, I've never thought of Crash Bandicoot as much of a character, to be I honest. I never played Crash Bandicoot, so... Crash Bandicoot really is a video game-ass video game character. He doesn't... There's nothing to him. He doesn't really do anything except <laughs> do a Tasmanian devil impression and collect fruit, and that's about it. Well, in the games, he's he apparently he's perceived as like this mentally retarded character. But yeah, in, but in fucking Fuck. in Skylanders Academy, he's this awesome hero, just like, "Hey, how you doing? I'm Crash Bandicoot," and I'm oh! like, what the? "Oh, I can't take it." <laughs> I'm, and I'm just like, no, oh, no, no. Well. It's like, oh, I don't know how I got here. Last where I was, I was on Insane Island taking on Dr. Cortex, and I'm oh. listening to him, and I'm just like... Chris is cringing hardcore right you now. You know what? You know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm giving up on this game. I can't make much progress. I keep getting my ass kicked. Uh, I think you need to step back and drive me insane with Tetris. Yeah, so how about it, folks? <laughs> Just fuck it. I will play Donkey Kong Country another time and hopefully, fingers crossed, finish the goddamn game. But in the meantime, how about some Tetris attacking Bliss and causing such, you know... Turmoil. Yeah. Uh, the hell oh, on Earth. Episode? Hell on Earth for me. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, until next time, Ow. okay, after all this ranting is done, there will probably be more in another episode, but in the meantime, until next time. You can blame me for that, I yeah. tickled out. I'm Golden Fox, and keep gaming, and bye!